Galapagos is a very unique archipelago, home to endemic plant and animal species. That means they only occur here and nowhere else on Earth. And that's why it's very important that we preserve these. Unfortunately, due to agriculture and the influx of cargo, many plant species have been introduced, so that nowadays more than half of the Galapagos flora is introduced. Some of these plants are having a negative impact on the ecosystem, so we have to act now. The Charles Darwin Foundation is particularly interested in studying the red quinine tree, locally known as Cascadilla, because it is one of the most invasive woody species. It was originally introduced from mainland Ecuador in the 1940s as a cash crop in the agricultural zone, but it spread to other areas and currently covers more than 12,000 hectares of land on Santa Cruz Island. Many of the affected areas are home to Scalicia and Myconia, two of the most iconic endemic species in the archipelago. Since 1998, we have studied the long-term effects that quinine has on its surroundings and our discoveries are striking. Not only is quinine negatively affecting native and endemic species, but it has transformed the distribution of plants and has changed the surrounding microclimate and phosphorus concentrations in the soil. The Galapagos National Park Directorate has been controlling quinine for many years by uprooting trees and by applying herbicides. For almost 10 years, the Charles Darwin Foundation has evaluated the efficiency and impacts of these control measures on native and endemic plant species in permanent plots. So far, our results show that negatively affected surrounding vegetation recovers, but long-term effects are currently unknown. It has also become apparent that controlling quinine facilitates the establishment of other invasive species, especially of blackberry. In addition, germinating plants have to be subsequently pulled out by hand to keep the area free of quinine. Therefore, we believe these control techniques should be applied to priority conservation areas, as the National Park is currently doing at Media Luna, where endemic bird species are being affected by the invasive quinine. However, for an effective control of the area, quinine as well as blackberry plants must be continuously removed. Therefore, the Charles Darwin Foundation and the National Park are also currently looking into possibilities for biological control of quinine. 